So we have a growing number of students here who use assistive technology both in the classroom and to access content online. Um, and we can provide the assistive technology or AT and the training in it. But as an institution, we really need to ensure that there are no other barriers that would stop students from being able to access content. So for example, in the classroom, it might actually be worth considering encouraging the use of digital devices. So if you, rather than use slides for your subject, if you tend to put a lot of information on the board, um, diagrams, equations, or just notes and so on, um, it's worth letting students know that maybe you don't mind if they take photos of that, um, because we would provide a type of assistive technology, uh, particularly say to students with literacy difficulties or um, say organisational or concentration difficulties. Uh, we would provide an assistive technology that would allow them to take photos and then annotate those photos and add notes and labels and so on so they can review them later. But that's obviously something that would be beneficial across the board for a lot of students. So if you encourage this kind of practice, it first of all, like I say, it benefits students across the board, but it also means that those students who do have a disability don't have to feel self-conscious that they're the only ones who are, who are doing it. And the same would really go for recording audio. So our policy here would be that only students that are registered with a disability um, can record audio in a classroom and they would sign an agreement to say that they won't share that content. Um, but unfortunately with the, the way things are now we could really all be being recorded possibly without our knowledge at any time once we're, once we're in public. So it might be worth considering having an open policy around this um, where you tell students that yes they can record audio but ask them not to share that content because there are many of us who could benefit from being able to review audio within a lecture and listen back to it. And again, it means that students who have a disability don't have to feel self-conscious that they're the only one using a recording tool.